Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Hollywood Park. This is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's go to race six this afternoon, folks. 3.37 p.m. Pacific Post time. Six and a half for a long sprint on Hollywood's cushion track. Phillies and mares, three years old, up race for an allowance purse of $57,200. Contenders number six, American Lady. Number one, Zenadeca. Number five, Moonstruck Maya. And number three, Hopeful Union. Number six, American Lady, takes the class drop of two units this afternoon. Is excellent early and overall speed for this six and a half for a long sprint. She's hit the board in power run fashion in both of her two career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her first asking. Jackie Martin Garcia and trainer Bob Baffert sent her to the post today. They've hit the board with 56% of nearly 250 entry saddles a team to date. Number one, Zenadeca has hit the board in four straight, winning twice, including a power run win in her last start. Jockey Rafael Bejarano was in her irons for that last win 18 days ago here at Hollywood Park. Is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Race six summary, number six, American Lady, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number one, Zenadeca, number five, Moonstruck Maya, and number three, Hopeful Union 6153 in the sixth from Hollywood Park. Bonus long shots, Colonial Downs, race four, number three, Valter, a six to one shot as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony qualifier. Nice overall speed for this mile test on the inner turf course. Canterbury Park, race three, entry number nine above the fray, a six to one shot. Takes a slight class drop as the speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of seven and one half furlongs on the turf. So from Southern California, it's Hollywood Park on a Thursday as we start up another racing week here in Southern California. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.